Hello, uh, this is Lee. I'm going to help you how to get to um, the Citrix Zen server from Windows platform and uh, basic installation of uh, uh, VM, uh, basic, uh, VM uh, image from one of the machine there. So, um, first, I have the this picture here, this picture. So basically, at the moment I'm here now. Okay, I'm here. So I'm here now. I'm going to connect to the server here. Connect to this server, and that's the IP address there. That's an example. So in your scenario, maybe of course different. And then I, from here, and then I point to get the ISO image on this server somewhere on the network. Of course, uh, I can, if this server I can reach, so I can insert the CD into here, but unfortunately, uh, most of the environment, there is no such, you know, cloud, in, cloud contact in some way. So that's the picture that we're going to do. So basically, you need a, a RAP3 computer, I mean, 3 server for this scenario. But in our lab, we have that for you already. Okay, to start with, uh, I have my, uh, I, I have my, uh, then up and run. So that's a Zen server once you install is there. So I have there already. I load them already. Now connect to my server. So now what I'm going to do now is connect to here now. From here, I connect to here. Okay. So IP, the IP address. That is my beautiful IP address there, as you see. And the password, maybe it's in the lab. I will give you the what is the password, of course. Okay, now, now you connected it, right? Let me remove this. Detach. And then I so let me remove this, and then I I work it up. Okay, that's a that's a very much beginning when you log in, right? So that's your um, Zen server console, and that's your server there. And you may have a couple. Like like VMware, you have a couple of uh, EXXI one two three hosts on the way here, and they have a number of them there. If, if, if on the enterprise level, but in here we have one only one for demonstration purpose. You can you can go through their server platform memory storage all of this. You can just have a look. This is my sample stuff, and if you want to put it there, so it's up to you. Number of CPU you can refer there. A memory there at the moment is used only a little under a gig for this image. Storage I have plenty. ESS3, EXT3, that's Linux. Network card I got two. So basically on this server I have two different networks. So back in this picture here, there is two network here, right? One network maybe go here, another network maybe go another go go to another another Ethernet. Not necessary to be this map. Okay. So I'm going to what I'm going to do now. I'm going to install one of uh, I make one of the VM or to call instant that. Okay, so now connect in already. Go to make new image. But before I make the new image, example, I'm I'm going to do window A, right? Window A. Uh, I make a test instance one. Okay. Okay, where do I go? I can't go anyway, so basically I have to stop here. Either I've got the DVD or I got the I get the ISO library. So what do I do? Can't do anything. Yes. Okay. Get out here, then come back to get the library in. Okay. New storage. I'm going to get that ISO library. You can have many share here if you wish to. Okay. Uh, my uh, temp testing ISO. Okay. I leave it there. I remove that. You work it out that number, and then uh, as as I said to you already, I have ready my stuff there so that my share point, I'm point there already, and my eyes are sharing. So I just type them in. Slash slash, uh, my IP address, and then my sharing points. Okay, then I need to put the password for me because I know what it is. But in the scenario, you may put in your your own password, whatever you know. On your um, of this computer, you get the password. Put some password here as long as you can access to that file. You make a choice of that.
okay, now I have the library there. That's in library. So that's my, in li my library, I have three whatever image tests in here. I have a, a evaluation for 2012, 64 bits, uh, CentOS, a Red Hat point, point 0.9, uh, and then trial for window A. Okay, so I have the image now. Now go back. So go back there. New image, uh, start again, do 98, 30, 64, again, 64 bits, uh, VM1. And then select the library. Before you don't have this yet, but now you have it. Um, go 98 first, and then I do another one later. Okay, CPU, I do two for now. Memory, not that much, make it uh, 2048 to start with. Storage 24 gig for now, but in the reality you want to make whatever storage here if you wish to okay And um, it depends how what you're going to do with that, but again, this is a test test purpose So I just keep it what it is So now I do zero network a okay, so as I said before This one can go to another um, this server here that multiple nick here But you can make whatever way that you want to So I make nick one and then nick zero at the first nick and then I don't start right away I just make sure that I have a right one so that's what it is and create and you have look down here it's, it's created there okay what next is next I'm going to do you will see one icon pop out just here there we go and now you can check the profile whatever you, hear you wish to put option you want to memory at the moment nothing that's memory there Storage, not much use, or you can add more storage here later on if you want to. Okay, network, uh, you use number zero as, as you know, as uh, I said before, you can change here if you want to. Consult, okay, at the moment not run, perform snapshots, you can check it up later. But now I'm going to console and then click start, okay. Right click on that, start, or just hit the start button here, whatever way you want to. No, it's loading now. Okay, now it's start, right? So I leave it there, let it run. It's, it takes some time. In the meantime, I hit myself for another one, Windows 2012, 64 bits. There we go. And I hit for next one, instant number two, okay? Two. Testing, of course. Okay, next one, get my image out, 2012. That's my image there, it's in the library before. Now go ahead, make it two CPU, okay? Make RAM already, I got plenty of RAM on this machine anyway. Uh, leave it that for now, or you can pump them up if you wish to, make them 50 gig. Okay, go ahead, 50 gig, I do number two. Okay, I don't want to start out. Okay, this time I left the stop by default, so it's nothing special. Have a look at creating images. And here, another one will pop up and start by itself. Installation. But I'm not recommend that method because you just take so much time and then you have to check them again. And then click on the console, see how it goes. There we go. Now it's loading my 2012. And then in the meantime, you can come back here. Window 9A is running at the moment. Window 12. <coughs> That's how to install, multiple installation. I mean, because the capture for the time limit, so I don't want to capture so much. There we go. So basically, when you start, when you install and start them up, they have on the IP and assign this as an individual. You put an IP address and join whatever network that you want to be joined. So now you have another one on the top of this. Yeah, uh, let me come back and slide that. Like uh, in the, in the VM environment, you have a uh, there. Example: This is a VM, right? But it's it's not much different in terms of accent. So you have what? Uh, you have uh, at the moment I do here's uh, Windows A, X, uh, Windows A, two thousand and twelve Linux, and all of that have an individual and their own IP address. So you you can figure them out how does that work. How is that working here in this scenario? So you can go to multiple logical network, put different VLAN if you wish to. 
So that's how it works. Okay. So now it's, it's, it takes some time to to start, but you can make full screen if you want to. So I don't think I'm gonna wait for this installation uh, finishes, and then I might just populate a new one, a uh, new VM, and now I can do a Linux if 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 you have any favorite with you. I do thirty two there, and I do I have here version nine, and then I do uh, instance number three. Yeah. Instant number three, yes, and testing of course, and then you can hit up to the linears here, and just make them go at normal graphics. That was default. That's really smart actually. It makes another CPU one gig of RAM more than enough for linears. A gig, uh, make them, uh, make them depend. If if you want to, you can get any, but for default, I mean for trying, make twenty gig. There we go. So I, I got for a share with the window 2012. I don't want to start them. Leave it there. So I just check the power, see how it go. Great seating drive. There we go. And then it just finished up. There, I have to that one, but not yet run. So let that run, let that run. And now you can check it out. Go back here, have a look at memory uses, general uses, memory, there we go. So the CentOS have not run. So it's not occupied, it's still available that much. Uh, memory. Uh, you don't want to justify at the moment, around you? So I'll just leave it finished first. Uh, storage, you can check it there. Network, NIC, console. So this is console, how you go and actually check ch checking your Linux. So I mean your your Zen server and this bit is actually is exactly like CentOS Linux. You can do whatever bit that you want to. You can check the IP address here. It's exactly like like uh, CentOS or Red Hat. So they have all the other necessary command here. So if you know Linux a little bit, Zen is not the issue. VM will not issue. Windows much easy of course. Okay, uh, I think I just leave it there for you to complete this task. For installation, you take some time, like like this task now, uh, 2012. Now just go up, and then you just follow the installation, let them run. So I will do in my time later for this capture purpose. I just stay uh, stay at this day. Okay. Um. So if you got any question, you can pump into the uh go back to the PowerPoint, whereas I put a fair bit of documentation there. Well, here, here we go. You go from chapter slide uh, page number two to twenty one. That from here to chapter four, very much, not much. So you can go through them. So anything else, and the book there is for you know, the real life, and there is a lot of case study. And for more Zen, for more about Zen, you can visit the official website uh, at uh, zenserver.org. And then this, uh, as you know, that now it's been fully open source, so very much you go as you wish, and it's free now. So, except for support, they don't support if you go for free. So there we go. This truly really handy. Look like it's again with the market. It's coming with the market with VM, um, VMware EXSI and uh, Hyper-V. So this become fully free now, open source. It unless you require for support. Okay. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. So that's it for me. Best of luck, and uh, bye for now.